Hi everyone, how are you guys doing really well? Welcome to day six. So, so cool. Um, we're already in day six and time is flying. And I have this wonderful picture here behind me. And my flatmate, she actually painted this one. It's, oh, it's so beautiful. Just when I look at it, I love blue. Yeah, I love blue a lot. Um, so today we're going to talk about how I became a healer and found my healing abilities. And I was in Rishikesh in India, as I told you, did my yoga teacher training there. And I went for the first time to a Reiki healing. And I never went to a Reiki healing before and I've always heard Reiki. Um, and just in my mind, I, I thought I knew what it could be, but I wasn't really sure. So I went there to um, this Reiki healer and he was an Indian man and I just lied on the floor and he gave me Reiki healing. So he put his hands on my chakras, so on parts of my body and the chakras or the same main chakras. They start here from your root spine and up here to the crown of your head. And he gave me this amazing, amazing Reiki healing. And it was, wow, I could really feel the energies for the first time in my life. I was really aware of energies. I could just feel it in my body. It was like a pulsing in my body. And it was, oh, it was wonderful experience and India opened myself up to to different world and then I went to a massage therapist in India and it was one of the most spiritual massages massage that I've ever had in my life um, it was not a normal regular massage so when I was there, I was, you know, lying on the massage table and he gave me this massage, but it was almost like he had like four hands. So he was massaging like my head, but then he was also doing something on my back and it was, oh my God, it was like super, super crazy. And afterwards we had actually like a counseling session and he had intuitive abilities and he could pick up things. And it was incredible what he, what he told me. He said that I should become a healer. I have healing gifts in my hands. And yes, that I should um, start to, to become a healer and that I also should uh, teach happiness. That's what he also said. And that I'm like a bird and, you know, um, free spirit. And he could just pick up things from me, which I just found incredible. And yes, this man supposedly woke up from the death. So he was in coma for a long time. And then he woke up again. And nobody thought he could, um, you know, he will wake up from death. But then he ha had these amazing healing abilities. And anyway, after this massage, um, I was so motivated and I really wanted to become a healer and a Reiki healer. So I went to Canada, I think that was around, I think October 2018 or something like that, I think. <laughs> um, no, 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 that was November 2018. November 2018. And a couple of months after I've been in Canada, um, I saw they did in the town I was living in a Reiki course and I was so drawn to this Reiki course. I was straight away, oh my God, I want to do it. I want to do it because I still remember this amazing Reiki massage I had in India and my soul was just, you know, pulling me into the right direction. So I was doing Reiki level one back then and I just did it all myself. I gave Reiki to my partner. So I opened myself up to a whole new dimension, uh, the healing world and the energies. And I wasn't really, 
yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing anyway. And that I could actually help people and heal people. Because I thought, you know, I, I need at least level two. But the thing is, and what I've learned in my journey too, is that everyone has the ability and has the gift to be a healer. And everyone can heal themselves. The thing is, when I give a Reiki healing, I give you the permission to heal yourself. So I'm opening up that space for you to heal yourself. It's not me who's doing the healing. It's actually you. You are doing the healing on yourself. And that is the most incredible thing. And I think that's what a lot of people don't know about because a lot of people think that, you know, I'm the healer, I have to heal them and I have to fix them. But it's really masculine. And the thing is, I'm actually just opening up that space for you. I'm giving you the masculine container for your feminine to, to heal yourself. And that's, I think I've realized that just last year that I'm giving myself the permission to heal myself and nobody else can actually do that for me. Nobody can. And anyway, um, I did Reiki level one back then. And then I also did a theta healing DNA course, which was amazing. And it's a meditation you do where you go up in a light bubble and you connect yourself with the creator of all that is, with God, the universe. And from there, you can actually start to heal people because you download through the creator. So it's not you who's healing the person, it's actually God is flowing through you. It's amazing. It's, yeah, it's incredible. And after Canada, what did I do? So I think I just tested all these healing things that I've learned on my partner and on myself and nobody else. And then I, I, yeah, I went back to Germany for a month in 2019. And then I flew to New Zealand because um, my ex-partner was from New Zealand and we wanted to settle down in New Zealand. So we stayed there for six months. And um, I was not really feeling super well in New Zealand, to be honest. I didn't have the most amazing time because my partner and I, we, yeah, it, um, we had a lot of conflicts coming up and there was a lot of disharmony between us. So our relationship was struggling. And then in February 2022, I think it was when, I think just when COVID was happening, um, I had to to go to Australia because my visa ran out in New Zealand. So I flew to Adelaide because my best friend was studying there. So that was the reason why I came to Adelaide. So I came to Adelaide and then, um, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I was arriving in Adelaide. And as I said to you yesterday, um, in Canada, I started to see a lot of ravens. And ravens were always my spirit guide. And I was always drawn to them. And anyway, so uh, back in Adelaide, I was starting to seeing all these ravens. And I was like, oh my God, in New Zealand, they didn't even have any ravens. And so that actually meant for me, there was no growth for me in New Zealand. There was no spiritual growth for me. I was actually not needed in New Zealand. And Adelaide, yeah, it opened myself up to, to, yeah, a new world again. Because I met um, a healer and she remembered me of my healing abilities and my healing gifts. And that I'm a natural healer and that I should try to claim this part of me again. And, you know, for a long time, I haven't really talked much about my healing abilities and my healing journey and what I've learned just because 
I thought that a lot of people can't really resonate with what I'm doing with all this energy healing and what is energy healing and is this hocus pocus we call it in German so is it like you know voodoo or what is that all about but the thing is energy healing is the most natural thing in our lives because energy surrounds us all. We are all connected. We are energy beings. And once you can connect to that source and you can actually let this energy of Reiki, of the creator, of God flow through you and you're opening up the space of a beautiful healing energy and you you create it for another person and um anyway and how you the universe was guiding me in adelaide and i met a reiki master and that was mind-blowing because back in new zealand i wanted to do wanted to do reiki level two and I think I found a person, but she actually told me that Reiki level one is all you need. And you can start already healing, even distance Reiki you can do. And the, the most incredible thing is though that I met a Reiki master where I was living at. And he attuned me to Reiki level two. And you know, with Reiki there are different symbols. And then I learned the distance Reiki healing and that, oh my God, after he attuned me to Reiki level two, wow. So my, my dreams changed, my, my dreams became so much more um, vivid and my sexuality changed. I opened myself up to a lot of pleasure um and just my my cells and my body they just changed because the the more you get into energy healing and the more you heal yourself with the energy the the more connected you feel with everything around you the more energy you feel and recognize in another person in um nature and you just, wow, you just feel this tingling in your hands. It is, oh my God. And Reiki healing really also saved my life. It really saved my life. And after I um, was attuned to Reiki level two, I started to give a lot of distance Reiki healings. And most incredible things happened. And you can actually also read that in the reviews of my Facebook page. So a lot of people um, who I give the, the, the distance Reiki healing to, they gave me amazing feedback. They said they could really feel the energy in their whole body and it was tingling. And it was just, it was a, an amazing experience and something that you have to experience. It's something that your mind can't grasp it's only something you can experience and i think there was even a person who had a blockage and she always had migraines and then suddenly after my energy healing this blockage was gone it was gone and that that is the most amazing thing but everyone um um everyone reacts differently to energy so it also can be that you're not really aware how the energy is changing your cells your body um so you might actually don't really know if the reiki did anything to you but a lot of people say you're calmer you're more relaxed afterwards and energy healing is perfect for anxiety for fears for any blockages you have in your yeah, in your body, anything which is stored in you and something which you haven't solved throughout your life, like a topic in your life which is still not, you know, which is still there and which 
is still kind of creeping up from your back or something like that. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I gave these amazing energy healings. And then that's, that was the moment when I realized, oh my God, I have amazing gifts and I have to claim them back to me. And that I am a powerful healer. And I can heal people. And I can create the healing space for them. But the thing is always, as I said to you, you are actually the person who's healing yourself. And I'm just holding the container. And yes, so, you know, my journey still continues as a healer. And... It's like a never-ending thing. There, there will be always new healing modalities, I think. And Theta healing is, I think that will be one of the future healing modalities, I reckon. Um, I think Reiki is a bit, you know, old. Or that's what I've heard. Um, but still, I'm, I'm so glad and grateful that I had the opportunity to learn that and it really truly changed my life. I became a different person because every time I feel anxious I can actually heal myself which is an incredible gift and an incredible tool. Reiki is an incredible tool. It, it is truly amazing and if you want to experience yourself I'm giving energy healings over distance and we do that over Zoom or Skype and um, yeah afterwards we also have a quick chat and yeah if you maybe also have um, a topic you would like to solve and you're always hitting a wall then energy healing could be also something for you. A lot of times there might be some karmic um, strings attached to us from our family, from the collective, from our pain body, from anything really, um, from your ancestors. So I'm also releasing them as well. So I'm releasing, you know, old karmic patterns with my energy healing. It's 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 really incredible. I gave a lot of group Reiki healings um, this year in a workshop, and it's just amazing because people can really feel the energy. And when you combine it with sound, it's even more powerful. It is, oh my goodness, yeah. Anyway, um, this is just, yeah, a sharing from my journey with healing in this amazing world we are living in. Because it's a world we are not aware of. And it's a world where Anything is possible. Magic is at your doorstep. Magic is around every corner. Once you allow yourself, once you surrender, you let go of all your old bullshit FM stories, miracles happen. They happen for me, and I believe miracles can happen for anyone, even for you. Anyway, I think that's everything that I wanted to share about my healing journey. There's also a really, oh my god, another amazing, incredible story how I healed my back. I had really back, bad, bad back pain. I might talk about that tomorrow, but I also wanted to talk about um, how I became a coach too. Maybe I combine it, let's see. Um, but yeah, I hope you could take a lot from today and let me know if you're watching this hashtag replay and sending you lots of love.